Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to my Libras out there. We are officially in Libra season here in Western astrology. So ha very, very happy birthday to the Libras out there. I also want to go in and slip in a little uh, early little happy birthday to the uh, October Scorpios. Yes, happy birthday to you guys. We will be entering your season next. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that because these are general readings, the situations can go either or, okay? It can go either way. Now, I am specifically speaking to the zodiac sign in question, so mostly the message is going to be for them. But if you are cross-watcher, say, for example, or you are what you are you do have the sign that the, that is in question in the reading that you're watching and yet the story that i'm telling is flipped is vice versa then go ahead and flip it for yourself okay place it as it fits into your life but please be very careful not to place things or try and force things that don't fit into your story or your situation into the into positions because that's just going to confuse you and throw you off okay so another thing that i want to mention um uh, oh, first, actually, what I want to mention is I'm doing a little bit something a little bit differently this month. Um, I had been using the Sacred Rebels Oracle for a few months, which was doing great. But because we're now in fall and it's October, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and I got the brilliant inspiration to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck this month. And I'm really super excited for you guys to see what comes out. Because in some of these readings, they're all pre-recorded um, before I record this this intro but uh for some of these readings the oracle guidance that comes out from this deck is so spot on it's a little scary <laughs> okay um also the other thing that i want to mention especially for those of you that are new if you are new to the channel what's up thank you so much for tuning in welcome to the family but here at divine conversations we do not focus on love yes sometimes love will come out uh if necessary and I, in no way am I trying to stop that from happening. But the general focus or the main focus here on Divine Conversations is to focus on bringing yourself into a sense of union with yourself, bringing to yourself into a sense of wholeness with yourself, and also just having a conversation with spirit, all right? So what's coming through in these messages for the monthlies, even for the dailies, if you check out Morning Coffee, the messages that come through are just a conversation. What does spirit have for you at that time what does spirit want you to know for that time period or that cycle in your life that you're going through all right with that said keep in mind that all of these readings are timeless yes so just because this is dated for the month of october it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you in october you could come across this reading in february of 2020 and beyond and it may still resonate for you okay time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just take it as it resonates if it resonates for you at that time then take it if it doesn't don't worry about it come back later maybe it will all right, guys. <sighs> so with that said, I think let's just get straight to it. Yeah. Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get straight into it, guys. Here I have your pre-shuffle energies here. Um, and these all came out in bulk. And um, the four of wands was on top of it. But you've got a lot of wands cards here. You have the four of wands, the five of wands, the seven and the eight of wands. On the bottom of the deck, you have the three of cups. So there's a celebration here. Although I feel like this is, uh, the, there, there's a celebration for reaching a sense of stability, groundedness, uh, a strong foundation. This may be really internal, okay? This very much may be an internal situation for you. At least this sense of foundation, groundedness, um, reaching a solid, a solid state, okay, within yourself. It could be externally too. We could be talking about a creative project, a passion project, uh, a business, maybe. Um, but, and, and this would be this four of wands energy here. Okay, this solid groundedness, this this fa solid foundation you may have built for yourself, or you may have acquired recently, um, or maybe maybe you're acquiring over the course of October if it resonates for you in that way. Um, this is what is the cause for the celebration here. You have a balance between body, mind, and spirit, three of cups. Um, 
or at least um, I, I feel like this is a universal celebration. Like, like, And this has been something that the Three of Cups has been representing in readings that I've been doing for some time now. It's what I've been seeing. It's like the universe is congratulating you, is conspiring with you to continue to develop that which it is you, you know, you desire, okay? Um, now, here's the thing though. I don't feel like everyone around you is all that happy about it. There may be some people in your life here with the Five of Wands, there may be some people in your life that might be trying to uh, put their two cents in. Oh goodness, specifically, there's something that I'm feeling coming through here in the sense that you might be doing really, really well for yourself right now, Four of Wands, and then here comes some opportunistic people that are trying to get their two cents in to try and give you some advice, maybe to Im quote improve your situation but really what the, the 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 improvement that they are trying to push you towards or trying to influence within you is really their own example or their own idea of improvement it doesn't mean it's really going to improve anything to be quite honest um it's very much from an outside looking in type of situation so with that said it's like how do you really know what's going to improve my situation when you weren't even here while i was building and doing all the work to create this foundation to begin with. If it weren't for the work that I have done, says this Aries individual or individuals that I'm channeling for, if it weren't for the work that I had done on my own, my own blood, sweat, and tears, I wouldn't even be in a position right now for you to come up on me, talk about, ooh, you should do X, Y, and Z. No, you can fuck off, actually, <laughs> quite frankly, is what I feel right now. And you really want to, if that's the case, if that's something that's happening here for you, you really want to be careful with that because it seems like or it feels like they're really only trying to get their two cents in or trying to get in on the topic so that they can now benefit from whatever it is that you've built. Okay, and if that's not what you're about, if you're not trying to have that, then you really need to stay in this seven of wands energy, defending yourself, communication, eight of wands, setting the record straight. Being clear, concise, and honest about who you are, what it is you stand for, or what it is this circumstance is for you, and, and, and defend yourself. Put Keep your boundaries in check. I really do feel like, Aries, you do have your boundaries in check for real, for real, okay? Um, stay that way. Now, for some of you, there also could be a, a sense of inner conflict, but... I don't really feel that. I feel like for whomever I'm channeling for at this moment for this pre-shuffle energy, I really feel like this is external to you, all right? Just stay, just stay in your groundedness, okay? All right, Aries, so let's clear everything here and let's get into the rest of your messages for this month, yes? That sounds fantastic, like a fantastic idea. All right, I'm, gonna give this, I'm just gonna give this two clearing shuffles. And then we'll see what we've got for you, Aries. All right. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of October 2019. Thank you very much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're giving this five shuffles and then we'll see what we've got for you here. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I need to move my sage to, I have some sage burning here and my air conditioning, my air just came on and now it's like blowing my sage like crazy. And so I, I don't want it to do that because it's just gonna fill my room with smoke. Um, Okay, let me finish the shuffle and then I'll deal with that. <laughs> We've got three here for my Aryans. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2019. This is four. 
All right. And five. Aries, I'm seeing green for you. Um, and it's a color of the heart chakra. I really feel like a lot of this sense of stability, the sense of groundedness is coming from a deep and strong connection with your heart chakra. Boop. Okay. So you really might be in a very attractive vibration right now um, because, because of this connection with your heart chakra, you might be glowing in ways that you may, you, number one, you may not even realize or recognize, but number two, in ways you may have never really glowed before. Okay, um, and that really could attract some narcissists, some energetic vampires. It's very much a, a moth, like it's very much a moth to the flame type of energy. Okay, so really be careful, protect your energy, protect yourself. You know, be diligent about who you spend your time with. Did I? Yes, I did. Did I cut the deck? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm going to, okay, I'm, hold on, guys. I don't remember if I cut the deck. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I did cut the decks. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to continue here. Um, and I hope my sage doesn't really fill my room up like crazy. But here we go. Okay. So let's see what we've got here for you. Overall energy. Ooh, okay. You have the hanged man. All right. So um, <clears throat> this is good. Actually, this is really this is re very much is talking about um, what I was just explaining with like your heart chakra um, and being in tune with your heart chakra, which is allowing you to, to either to glow or glow in a brighter, more vibrant way, or maybe just a different way, maybe a healthier way. Okay. The hanged man here is talking about a change in perspective. And I really do also feel like that is exactly what the four of wands was, was speaking to. Okay. It's this change in perspective for you. Aries that has allowed you to gain some sort of greater foundation. And I really do feel like this is internal, okay? An internal foundation. So we could definitely say a spiritual foundation, okay? Because the wand suit definitely does represent spiritual uh, spiritual reality, spiritual nature, spirit, uh, uh, spiritual reality, spirituality, and spiritual nature and all that kind of stuff, okay? Um, so that's a good thing. Underneath the hanged man, you have, ooh, the star, followed by, okay, strength, and the nine of wands. See? All right. There, there are the wands again. So, okay. Wow. Aries, this is great. All right. So check it out. So you might be in a much better place than you have been in the past, okay? But I don't feel like... Gosh, the word, what I, for lack of a better term, for lack of a better phrase, the struggle isn't quite over yet. However, I hesitate to say struggle, okay? Because what this feels like for you, Aries, is just the process of life, right? You've been, th the process of existence. What I'm getting here is like you're, you're in the process of manifesting your dreams or going after what it is that you want, Um and it's an ongoing process. So that's why I hesitate to say the struggle, okay? It's just, it's literally an eternal process. So it's never really going to stop, but it also doesn't always have to be a struggle. And that's, and, and that's also why I, I hesitate to say struggle because I feel like with this change in perspective here with the hanged man that you have achieved or maybe you're in the process of achieving, it's becoming less and less of a struggle. Does that make sense? Like you're, you're, you're struggling, you're struggling against it less. It's this change in perspective that is allowing you to see things differently, which is allowing you to, to, to be fortified in your strength more. Okay. To be more tame, to, to be more, um, uh, uh, I guess I want to say calm or even patient really, right. That is allowing you to continue following your dreams, to continue manifesting that which you truly desire to continue to your healing. And also as instilled a bit more faith in you, allowing you to hold on to faith a little bit more. You've got three major arcana here in your overall energy and all three of them are really good cards. And it's, and okay, so here's the thing. 
with this nine of wands energy, this might, you might, I guess, I guess you could kind of still call it a struggle. Okay. I don't feel like you're really working too hard. I feel like this is you defending yourself. Nine of Wands, defending yourself from the naysayers, defending yourselves from the energetic vampires and the narcissists and all that. Like I'm seeing, yes, you might be, um, you know, you might be, you might have, be looking over your shoulder here, but that's really only because of what you, you've learned as far as you've come, all right? And it, you're, you're wiser, you know better. Okay, you know that, okay, everything is not a worst case scenario, but sure, you know that you still gotta keep an eye out for those that wish to block you, tear you down, uh, uh, take, take credit for work that you've done to improve yourself when really they had nothing to do with it, right? That kind of energy, okay. This is really great so far, Aries. So now let's get into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half of the reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. I recommend you do what is right for you. How about that? <laughs> okay. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you have, ooh, the Nine of Swords. Okay. All right. Um, so there's still a little bit of fear, okay, involved, um, or maybe worry, oh, yeah, overemphasis on worst case scenarios, even entertaining worst case scenarios at all. Some of you actually may still be in a stagnant, uh, not, st well, a stuck or stagnant. It feels like you're stuck or stagnant, but it's just maybe like Betsy, my very good friend um, of Fearless Intuition, Betsy says it's not, the hanged man is not necessarily stagnant or being stuck. It's more like you're on pause. That may exact, that may be it for you. And that could also be why you have the strength energy here, okay? You're needing to really, hmm, I'm hearing calm down a little and just allow things to play out as they will. And I understand you might have some struggles ahead of you or, or in front of you, but you might have some challenges in front of you, but that doesn't mean that you have to slip into the worst case scenario about it, right? Okay, Nine of Swords is coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. It's interesting because you have this nine of swords, you have these worries, these anxieties, these fears, and yet you also have this queen of pentacles energy that's saying to you, hold on, you're solid, you're good. You don't have to worry about it. You're abundant, you know? You, you, you're, you're, it's not even like you're not willing to do the work when you know you gotta do the work or when you have the inspiration to do the work. So really, what are you so worried about? Now, for others of you, this could be you, um, stepping out of this nine of swords energy because you have finally found a sense of independence, a sense of um, abundance and groundedness, nurturance even. For some of you, this could be you coming out of anxiety and worries surrounding finances because you're finally good and solid within yourself to say, wait, actually, I got this. Yeah. You do got this. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading here. You Oh, all right. Well, you've got the three of swords. Heartbreak. Uh-oh. Ooh, what's going on, Aries? Um, this could be, uh, this could be the not, what the nine of swords is, is in, re in reference to. However, I feel like, I just feel like this is in the past for you, Aries. I feel like you're coming out of this. Let's see what else. Three of Swords is coupled with the High Priestess. With the High Priestess, I'm hearing wisdom. It's like you've gained some sort of wisdom or you have the potential to gain some sort of wisdom, deep universal insight and wisdom from the pain that you've been experiencing or the, the pain that you have experienced, the, the, the heartbreak that you've, uh, you've gone through. That makes perfect sense with the hanged man, the star, even strength being in your overall energy. The star represent he representing healing, the hanged man representing a change in perspective, the strength representing fortification. 
Taming the Beast Within. And it feels like this Three of Swords energy, if this is, now for some of you, this was a love situation, okay? And the heartbreak that you endured through this has actually only served to make you stronger. Has served to help pull you out of this, say, Nine of Swords energy that you might have been in for a, an extended amount of time to allow you to be in this grounded state, this abundant state, this nurturing state. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you know, with this Queen of Pentacles here, it really doesn't matter. Because this is just a symbol, sim, sim, uh, s this is just the energy, okay? It's not gender. So what does the Queen of Pentacles represent? She represents groundedness, she represents abundance, she represents uh, uh, like the motherly aspect, she represents nurturance. Um, support, unconditional love. She's also a cardinal energy, okay? She does represent Capricorn, but she's a cardinal energy, so she's not afraid to take the lead. She's not afraid to be a, a trailblazer. She's not afraid to go in a new direction. I just feel like you're really solid and grounded in yourself right now, Aries, and that's a really good thing. And it's, it's almost as if you're taking what you learned from the past with you as you move forward. And that's beautiful, that's excellent. All right, so getting into the challenge for you in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you have, okay, the Four of Swords. Yeah, there's a need to just rest and meditate right now. For some of you, there is still some down, there are still some downloads, there's still some information that you're gaining throughout this heartbreak. Um, there are some elements to whatever heartbreak that you dealt with that you are unaware of. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <clears throat> that you're unaware of, and yet they are... Oh, I just heard foul play. Okay. Um, and if it is, if there is some sort of foul play or something like that, um, there are reasons for why it happened that you're not quite aware of, but the universe is... is obviously is aware of um, and I get the feeling that it was actually quite necessary for you to to experience this or for this to happen in some way shape or form or for some reason yeah so your challenge right now at least in the first half of your reading here is to just chill to meditate to rest okay allow yourself to integrate the downloads that are coming through allow yourself to integrate the wisdom that you're receiving Four of Swords is coupled with, okay, the Wheel of Fortune. This shit, uh, sh things are shifting for you right now, Aries. And instead of really trying to take too much action, which we all know Aries loves to do, what you really need to do right now, the guidance for you right now, is to just sit and wait. Relax, all right? Don't push too hard for anything. Don't really try and strive to achieve too much right now. You know, don't, I, I, it's like, I, I literally feel like things are in the process of shifting around you as you shift internally. So it's really just about letting this happen. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you have, oh, more Capricorn energy, but the devil. Okay. The devil is coupled with the knight of pentacles. Slowly but surely, I feel like you're moving away from this devil energy. I feel like you're addressing whatever the devil represents for you in your life, whether that be codependency, narcissism, toxicity, uh, addictions, bad habits, uh, people, places, things, jobs, and a toxic environments, toxicity in general, whatever that represents for you, I feel like slowly but surely you are moving away from that. Now also keep in mind that what this could represent is uh, the energies that are trying to pull you out of or pull you away from, stop you in your tracks, knock you off your path. Those energies could be represented by the devil here. And that's uh, that is a really great reason as to why you do need you would need to persevere here with this nine of wands energy, okay? Okay. 
Second set, uh, I'm sorry, second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, you have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, keeping balance, keeping things in check, uh, definitely, as things are shifting around you, for sure. Uh, Two of Pentacles is coupled with, oh, yeah, King of Swords. Okay, so this really is a moment for you to really work on maintaining your balance. Work on maintaining seeing things as they truly are, not the way you want them to be, not the way others may want them to be, but literally seeing them as they truly are to make sure that you're maintaining balance for yourself right now. I just heard you don't want to go overboard with this. You want to stay, you want to stay balanced, okay? Excuse me. All right, second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the second half of your reading here, you have, there's the four of wands again. You're solid, you're good. Wow, okay. <laughs> four of wands is coupled with, there's the five of wands again. It's like people are coming after you. To say you need to do this or you need to do that or blah blah no no you're solid you're good now also that's not that's not necessarily for everybody what this also could represent here aries is the fact that because you have come to this place of solid ground stability even um, there could be a lot of chaos around you energetically or just physically as your environment shifts as your external reality shifts to uh, reflect your internal reality, your 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 new your um, new state of stability, foundation. Okay, so that's also another reason why you really need to maintain balance at this time, Aries. Okay, like really. Keep your mind in check here. Nine of Swords, King of Swords. Keep your mind in check. Work on truly seeing things as they are. If you start running into some sort of hiccups or some sort of um, roadblocks or challenges, extra challenges or whatnot, whatever, don't freak out, okay? Don't allow yourself to think, look at it and say, oh no, this is evidence that I'm not going on the right, I'm not doing the right thing or I'm, I'm, I'm on the right path or something like that. No, uh, no, don't look at it that way. See it for what it truly is. See it for as a roadblock a lesson, um, just a temporary pause, whatever, all right? Don't slip into any of those worst case scenarios here. Things are shifting around you. Okay, your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Aries. Woo, here you are, Queen of Wands. I don't know what's so challenging about that. Staying in your power. Not letting anyone knock you out of that, okay. Queen of Wands is coupled with the Four of Cups. Interesting. I'm getting, with the Four of Cups, I'm getting a sense of you might, there, if you don't stay in your power here, Aries, if you don't stay in your wisdom, in your in, in, with, if you don't stay in tune with your guidance system, you may miss some opportunities here. Because with the Queen of Wands, I feel like you're you're in a very receptive energy right now. You're really like attracting some really good stuff, and if you don't stay aware of that, you might miss it. If you don't stay balanced and grounded here, okay. You might miss it. Don't let anyone throw you off your center. All right? You know what it is that you want, Aries. So don't anyone allow you to, to, to don't, don't allow anyone to push you out of that and then you, you just basically like shoot yourself in the foot or circumvent your own manifestations. You know, that, that, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Closing message or potential outcome for you here, Aries, in the second half of your reading, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Success in career is what I heard. 
longevity. I, I feel like whatever this Four of Wands energy is here for you is really setting you up for some serious long-term success. Ten of Pentacles can also be a lesson learned, a completion of a lesson, getting ready to graduate to a new one. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with, yes, the Six of Wands. I told you, I was feeling it. So you're either graduating to a new lesson and or you're set up some, for some serious, energetically set up for some serious long-term uh, uh, financial stability, long-term longevity. I mean, this is a really good energy here, Aries, to be closing. So really, uh, Aries, hello, stay in your energy, stay in your power. Don't allow yourself to get knocked out of that so that you're now missing opportunities that you've been trying to manifest all along, okay? Don't let, because I'm feeling it. I feel like there are about to be, especially with this five of wands here, okay? I'm really feeling it. There are some naysayers, some, some darker entities, some low vibrational people with the whole misery loves company situation trying to come in and knock you off of your center, knock you out of your stability, knock you out of your grounded foundation. Why? Because they don't want to see you succeed. They want what you have. They want to get in on the action without really doing any of the work. Hell no. Hell no. No, the strongest thing I'm feeling for some of you out there is that they really just don't want to see you succeed. They see you glowing, they see you shining, they see you rising, and they're like, oh, hell no, that bitch ain't going to get that. Nuh uh not if I don't have nothing to do with it, well, check it out. As long as you stay in your power, Aries, they really can't even touch you. <laughs> Excuse me, they really can't even touch you. I mean, I don't really don't even know what else to say about that, okay? So again, stay in your power, Aries, all right? So now we're going to close your reading with Oracle Guidance here from the fairies for your month of October. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2019. Let's see what we've got for you here, Aries. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2019. Just some Oracle guidance, please, Spirit. Just to close out this reading. <coughs> for my Aries. Just the top one, they say. Okay. You have card number 18, Elf Struck. Enchanted, beguiled, and spelled. All right. Let's see what we have to say here. You are dazzled, amazed, astounded at present, your head a whirl with otherworldly visions and thoughts. You may be a little obsessive and unable to balance at present. It is all or nothing, and the momentum is exhilarating and intoxicating. You have given your all to your new passion. You have discovered that you truly do have the power to create what you want and need in your life. So please take time out to contemplate just how these miracles have come about, the coincidences and connections that have brought you to this place. There is so much to be considered, to think about, and the thoughts you have at this time are so intense and fully flavored that you are creating the next steps in your life, drawing them to you, weaving and creating your future. While you are currently so devoured by the desire to push forward, Use this energy. Do not allow your current state of enchantment to be sabotaged or hijacked for other purposes than your, your own, which must be for the highest good. Soon, the intensity will ease, balance shall make a return, and life will take on something that normally... Oh, and life will take on something like normality again. But now, having tasted magic, you can never return to how you once were. You are forever changed, my friend. 
I mean, guys, I'm gonna read this sentence one last time for those of y'all in the back, all right, that are sleeping on it, all right? <laughs> Do not allow your current state of enchantment to be sabotaged or hijacked for other purposes than your own, which must be for the highest good. There's a double message in there. First of all, don't let your energy be hijacked. Second of all, make sure that you maintain your focus on doing what is uh, serving the highest good for yourself and for others. All right, Aries? So there you have it. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading in the month of November. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!